Móveis. How this life would have been without you. I think you're wrong. Okay, because I'm the one who should be thanking God every day for making it possible to be with you. Mm. I mean, life would be a bed of thorns and darkness without you. you know? <laughs> I love you more than I love life. I love you more, baby. Baby, sleep well. You're gonna hurt yourself. Baby, sleep well. Why are you sleeping like this? Huh? Baby. Baby, wake up. Sleep properly before you hurt yourself. Baby. Baby. Can we ask you a few questions? Just preliminary questions while we prepare to convey your husband's cuffs to the mortuary. Thank you. You said you woke up in the middle of the night 
and found your husband dead. How exactly did that happen? I woke up to go and pee. And when I returned, he was sleeping awkwardly. Or so I thought. So I tried to wake him up so that he could rearrange himself. So when I touched him, that's when he fell on the floor. And I realized that there was something wrong. Then I called you guys immediately after. I see. Did the both of you have a fight, quarrel, misunderstanding, or anything that would have triggered his emotions or make him feel distress? Never. Charles and I fight. It's never happened. My husband was the best thing that ever happened to me. We were both so much in love. We've been together for five months now. And within that time frame, we've never had any reason to fight or quarrel. We even made love last night. Madam, are you telling us that um, you and your husband, your late husband, had been married for five months? Uh, no, 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 not five months. We've been together, we've been married for three months. Three months, yes, and we've known each other for five months. Wow. You got together and got married within five months of meeting each other? Yes. The both of us were so much in love with each other. We were so much in love to realize that we're meant to be together. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm going to be referring to Charles in the past. But I, I don't understand. Is there anything wrong with marrying a man after a few months after you've met? No, <laughs> not at all. Well, uh, madam, we will now allow the medics to come and carry away your husband's calves. Meanwhile, we will need you to make available to us uh, contacts, phone numbers, address of any of his relatives. We will need them during the course of the autopsy and uh, should in case any other issue arises during the course of our interrogations and investigation. Madam, is there a problem? Relatives. Excuse me? I don't know any of this. Well, it is so family members. Hey, baby. Charles. Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Huh? Come give Pappy a kiss. But you are... Dead? Oh. Hey. This is your Charles. Okay? I'm always going to be here for you. And I'll never die. Never. Come give Pappy a kiss. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you have me back. Why are you not 
knocking on the table like that. My poor baby. I was in so much shock when the police called me and told me about 40 minutes ago. I just dropped everything I was doing and ran down here. Oh, my darling, how are you doing? Have you had anything to eat all day? Mom, why are you here? Are you here to give me the I told you so speech? Kim, I'm still your mother. And your sadness is mine. Even though I was against your mind, a man you barely knew and you fought me about it. But still, I feel your pain, my love. Charles is gone. Wow. Tomorrow would have made us five months together and three months as a couple married couple I loved him so much I'm in so much pain mom Charles touched me in a way that no other man has ever touched me Any other man can touch me the way he did. My darling. Even though I never liked him and I wasn't a supporter of your relationship, but still, it hurts me. And my daughter is now a widow at a young age. This isn't the way I planned your life, Kim. If only you had just stayed with and married Johnson. Mom, just get out. Get, get, get out. Please get out right now. Leave my house now. You want me to leave? Simply because I'm saying what we both know is the truth. And nothing but the truth. I care nothing about your truth, okay? Just go. Leave my house now. I love you. And I love you more than life itself. So I will not stand by and watch you ruin your life. The police told me that you don't know any of his family members. Nobody close to him. How? How could you kill him? How could you marry a man with no background, especially knowing who you are? Background is nothing when love comes calling, okay? I loved him and that's all that matters, please. Oh. <laughs> Good. Clap for yourself. I hope those words comfort you at night. When you close your eyes and realize the man you rushed off to marry is dead and you know nobody from his family. Leave my house now. Oh, please just go. I don't, I don't know if I want this. Just, just go. Despite the fact that you've hurt me deeply in recent times, I still love you. Never forget that. To see report out? Not yet, madam. Uh, to be ready tomorrow. We'll still have to deliberate on the issue of your husband's background. Apart from the fact that he was married to you. Well, 
I met my husband in a nightclub and we hit it off from there. He told me he was from Abia State and that he was alone in this world and that he was the only child. He lost his parents through a ghastly car accident when he was six years old. And ever since then, he's been on his own. You accepted and believed that? Why not? I'm a loner myself. I do not make friends. In fact, I will not talk to you unless you have business to discuss. Uh, Madam, you see, all we have right now is your word, nothing more. Now, how do you think that makes us feel? I don't know. How am I supposed to know how that makes you feel? Well, we did ask you where it was by what, and you told us it's a car and water. Yet, no address, no business associates. Nothing to work with. I can't think of it. It's so strange to believe or think that a woman of your age, level of maturity, and exposure would just jump into marriage with some guy you know nothing about. You know, it's so easy for anyone to think about Charles and myself any way they want. But what they don't know is that Charles came into my life in a point when I was going through so much pain. When I was dancing with depression. I loved him and he loved me too. He came into my life in a point where I was thinking of committing suicide. I married him because he cured me from all the suicidal thoughts. I see. So you're telling us now that um, within the period of five or three months you've been married, it's been just two of you, no family, no relative, no friends, nobody. It's been just two of you. Ruben, Ruben, um, his, his best friend, he was the only one present at our court wedding. Okay, we spoke with your mom and she told us uh, she did not attend your court marriage ceremony with your late husband because she was not in support of the diamonds. Is that true? Yes. My mother and I haven't had the best of relationship ever since my father died. You know, I really do not care about what my mother thinks about me. The Ruben you earlier mentioned, where can we find him? I think, I think he said he had a shop somewhere on the island. You don't know where the shop is? What business or services he sells? I've only met him once. And we did not talk more than five minutes. So how do we find him? Okay. I think, I think he said his shop was somewhere now. The Bellevue Estates, the shopping mall there. If we go there, I think we can find him and I can help you identify him. Okay. No, 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 Mama! You will not sit down there and punch the remote and tell me what Kim Wulda will not like. Besides, I am sick and tired of your advice. Really? 
You seem to forget that I'm her mother, so I have an edge when it comes to knowing what she wants or doesn't want. Oh yeah? The same way you knew what she wanted before she got married to Charles and shocked us all? Shut up. If you know you won't control yourself and you keep shouting in my house, shut up and leave. All I do is for you. So what's the matter? Man, do you really understand what is going on here? King is free to love again. You just want me to sit down here, fold my arms and let her go? She's hurting from the loss of her husband just two days ago. She may seem like she's vulnerable, but I know my daughter. Her heart can be hard as stone. You go to her now, you stand the chance of losing her forever. So, what do you suggest I do? Just sit down, fold my arms, and do nothing about it? I didn't say you should sit down and do nothing. By all means, go and see her. But just to offer her a shoulder to cry on. Console her. Don't go there and start barging in, asking her to start off the affair with you from where you two left off. That's a surefire way of losing her. Huh. Okay. I will do what you want. Just for me to get King back into my life, I agree to do what you want. But now just know that I am losing my patience. My patience is getting thin. My patience is getting thin. Fool. He's gone. You can come out now. Is it going to cast us strong? <laughs> that one. <laughs> He's a lap dog. My lap dog. I whistle and he jumps. That's Mr. Ruben. That's him. Mr. Ruben? Yes. My name is Sergeant Kingsley Umor, and this is my partner, Sergeant Festus Obi from the State CID. Oh, okay. What's the problem? How may I help you, please? Don't you recognize this woman? I don't think I've ever met this woman before. What's going on, please? Mr. Ruben, it's me. Kim, Charles's wife. Charles? Which Charles? I have so many friends called Charles. Why are you sounding like this? I'm sure you know me because you're the only person my husband invited to our court wedding three months ago. And you yourself told me that you worked here. Me? Court wedding? Mother, what are you talking about, please? Officer, please, what, what's going on here? I need a proper explanation. Or I'm just going to walk away. What is this man talking about? Are you serious right now? You mean you don't know this man? You mean Andrew? Andrew? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the man you just showed me his picture. He told me his name is Mr. Andrew. He paid me to attend his wedding. To, to sign off some documents as, as a witness. That's just it. He's lying. You're lying! Lying? 
Why would I lie? As a matter of fact, I still need to meet this guy to collect the balance of my money that he's owing me for standing in at his wedding. Mr. Ruben, are you saying you don't know this man in question? Okay, well, I met this man at the court, yeah? On his wedding to this woman. I was there for a friend's wedding and he offered to pay me 40,000 Naira. He gave me 20,000 Naira on that day and asked for my address with the promise that he was going to bring my balance. Even though I know he's owing me, I, 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 knew, he was, I, I knew he was going to pay me. The man in question is dead. What? Oh gosh, what are you talking about? We need you to come with us to the station. We need to write whatever you know about this Andrew or Charles you said. Statement? Yes. Ha! Oga, please, I'm not ready for any issues with the police. As a matter of fact, I don't even need the money anymore. Uh, Mr. Ruben, this is not really about the money. We just need you to come with us at the station. I mean, we pick up some statements. I said, please listen. Mosimi Siwala. Now, 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 police case. Mr. Ruben? Ha! Shall we please? If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. And like the king on a chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Baby, what is going on? My heart is torn, but not by your death, but by the things happening after you're gone. I'm sorry, baby. But everything I did was for you, my love. Everything was for you. You did for me? Yes. I haven't been able to cry or mourn you after you died and left me. I have been burdened with the sad knowledge that I knew nothing about you before we got married. It's like I was simply carried away by the fact that I loved you. And now the whole world is laughing at me. Please, babe. Don't cry. I promise not to ever make you cry. Remember? Yes, you did. But you didn't keep to your promise. I'm crying now. Bitter. Sad tears. You wouldn't have understood if I tried to explain things to you. But please know this, baby. Everything I did was for you. I did everything for you. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Madam, your child lost consciousness as a result of the shock which she experienced. Please, can I take her home and take care of her? Eh? Um, it's actually dependent on the police who were the ones that brought her here. Police? Is she under arrest or something? Oh, please, madam. Let's go outside and talk. No, let's talk here. What is all this? Eh? Talk here to my daughter we're talking about. Madam, shouting and crying will not help anybody here. We have a serious situation on our hands and we need your help to get to the end of this investigation. Whatever you need, I'm ready. I'm ready to, 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 to cooperate with you. Eh? Please, this is my only daughter. If anything should happen to her now, I'm finished. I'm gone. Madam, outside. No, outside. Uh, doctor, please keep an eye. Sure, sir. 
Bun. Madam, after the death of your son-in-law, we keep getting to talk, deep questions without answers. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm talking about your late son-in-law. The latest information reaching us shows that he keep lying, was always lying to his wife about his personality. I still don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. Aside from his death, it appears he was mysterious in his ways. I never wanted anyone to know about his real identity. Why was that, madam? Why are you asking me these kind of questions? I met him only once. Just once. That was when my daughter brought him to introduce him to me. And I disliked him immediately. You see, now I'm vindicated. Excuse me, madam. So what happened? The autopsy report will be out tomorrow. Only when we know what the police find out, then we can act. Good. So we go home now. I have an assignment for you. We're making love tonight. I thought we agreed we weren't going down this road anymore. I had no such agreement with you. You said what you wanted to hear by yourself. I do what I want. I can't sleep with you again. You know I'm capable of causing you so much hurt, right? So you do what I want you to do and nobody gets hurt, okay? So let's go home. You know I hate being kept waiting. Gentlemen, you're welcome. From the initial analysis which we've carried out on the cops, the victim was poisoned. Poisoned? Yes, poisoned. We had seen that um, the way his heart packed up as a result of cardiac arrest, poison is the only way, or rather the only alibi that we could use. Sorry, doctor, um, please. Is that, is that all? Um, I'm curious though because I believe the poison was administered to him in a systematic manner in the sense that it was administered in his food and his drinks. Mm. Mm. So that means someone intentionally administered the poison into his system. Yes, someone administered it intentionally and from these initial reports which are contained here, you'll find that the poison was highly toxic and uh, led to the capitulation of his heart. Wow. So, this is a case of murder then? Yeah. Very much so, officer. Very much so. Hmm. The other side, um, I will get you a more detailed analysis before the end of work day. Should be done in the next two hours. Is that fine? Yeah, it okay. is. Thank, Thank you very much, Doctor, for your job. Please, if you wouldn't mind, excuse me. I have some other things to attend to, okay? It's all right, Doctor. Thank all right, you very much. Pleasure meeting you. What's the matter, officers? Madam. The autopsy report concerning the death of your husband is ready. Oh God, so what happened to my husband? He was poisoned over a period of three months to his death. Poisoned? 
How? How is that possible? Well, uh, madam, we're hoping you could tell us why your husband was poisoned from the period you two got married until his death. How am I supposed to know that? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, um, Mrs. Kim Obi, you are under arrest for the mother of Charles, your husband. You are entitled to free legal help from the state in the event you can't provide any for yourself. This, this can't be happening to me. Please, oh. this will. Kill my husband? This will. How can I kill my husband? But I'm just turned up. How? I didn't kill my husband. No! But you know! We, we have to go. I did not kill my husband! Who is there? Come inside. Where is she? Where is Auntie Joyce? Auntie Joyce! Auntie Joyce, come as well and hide, you know, because today I have come for trouble. Hmm. Auntie Joyce! Don't keep quiet. What is the matter with you? I will not keep quiet. Never! Enough is enough. I am tired of you to blame me. Auntie Joyce, come out, oh! Come out now! Naya. Auntie Joyce is not at home at the moment. And it will be of your best interest if you keep quiet because I'm sick and tired of you shouting like a mad dog. <laughs> mad dog? You've not seen anything yet. Though. I drank a bottle of madness before coming here. And I'm not leaving until you and Auntie Joyce pay me the money you owe me. I have come for trouble today. I want my money. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Will you keep quiet? What is the matter with you? Auntie Joyce, come out. Oh. Come out go today. I am ready for trouble. What is this? Naya, thank God you are here. I want my money. How dare you come to my house without an invitation? Are you mad? I want my money. I want my money now. You are both too quiet. What's my brother's picture? What's my brother's picture doing? What have you done? What is going on here? What is going on here? Charles' picture displayed on national TV. It won't be long till somebody identifies him and go to the police. Every time we waste the accounts against us. Hello? Oh, okay. I'll be there. What is it? It's Kim's lawyer. She's been arrested for Charles' murder. What is the matter? You sounded as if the world had come to an end over the phone. Something has necessitated a change in the way I plan for you to get hitched to my daughter. What are you talking about? Kim has been arrested as a suspect in the murder of her husband. What? What are you talking about? Who murdered you? I thought you said 
Her husband died as a result of a heart attack. I thought so too. But the police feel differently after seeing the autopsy report. Wow. Charles was murdered? How? Poison. Poison? I, I don't understand. Boris, I'm confused as well. But the reason I called you here is to ask if you still want to marry Ken. Of course I do. I love Kim. I have always loved her. I will not stop loving her. But marriage, man, do you think Kim would ever agree to marry me? Why not? You know, ever since I left your house the other day, I have been thinking. And I'm starting to think that I would never get keen to myself. Look, just focus. Focus on what I'm telling you. Her lawyer has told me that once the case goes to court, she will be able to get bail on personal recognition. Then you come around and make your presence felt. I'll ensure I do my part and pull you two together. Then you propose to her and marry her. When exactly? Is it before or after she goes to jail for killing her husband? She did not kill her husband. But you just said the police arrested her for the mother of her husband. She's a suspect. Woman, that's a serious case. I know her very well. She's not capable of murder. I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. And he like said he wants to take some time to think about my proposal. What? Think about your proposal? Does that mean you weren't convincing enough? Of course I was. He's not a fool, you know. He wants to wait and ensure that Kim doesn't get arrested for the murder of her husband before he can commit to her. Shit. Kim shouldn't have poisoned Charles. That wasn't part of the plan. Not at all. I don't think Kim poisoned Charles. Why do you think so? Because she has never done anything to show that she's capable of murder. And besides, she loved him too much. That's why she married him within a couple of weeks of meeting him. Then who did? And why? I need to know something quickly. What is it? Who did you discuss our plans with? I don't understand. Woman, don't even play with me. Don't act dumb with me. Who else did you discuss our plans with? And... Before you reply or say anything, I want you to think very well. Because if I find out that you are lying, you are a dead meat. Stop shouting, Timothy. Why do you always think that you threatening me is the only way for us to move forward? I've already told you I didn't discuss this with anybody. And you see us to keep shouting. Stop it. I don't like it. Hiring Charles was just one of our biggest mistakes. We shouldn't have hired him. But Charles is the best con man there is. Who else would have been able to trick Kim into marrying him within a couple of weeks? You're right. He was a good candidate. But he got greedy. Greedier than both of us. No one should be greedier than you and I as far as this deal is concerned. We have to do something and very fast. There is only one thing left to do. What is it? We need to get Kim to do what we want directly. I'm tired of all these elaborate schemes. And if she doesn't play ball, Man, I'm 
very tired. I just need to go home and rest. What about you? Yeah, in a few minutes. I will uh, just wrap up with this report and I'm done for the day. Very well then. Yes. Good day, sirs. Good day. They told me I'll find the officers investigating the disappearance of one Mr. Charles Sobi. I saw the post on TV. Yes, um, I'm Sergeant Festus and my partner Sergeant Kingsley. We're both investigating the case involving one Mr. Charles Sobi. Do you know him? Officers, please, what has he done? I left school the moment I saw the report to come here. I've been searching for him for the past three months. I see. Uh, please sit down. Thank you, sir. Um, young lady, fellows, what do you know about Mr. Charles Ubi? What's your relationship with him? My name is Mimi Omo, and I'm his girlfriend. Actually, his name is not Charles Obi. It is not? Yes, officers. Charles Obi is just a name he loved using whenever he wrote one of his crime stories. He's a writer, you know, and he loves writing crime stories. <laughs> Interesting. This is good to know. So, tell us. Tell us his real name. His real name is Kelly Ojubu. And I'm his girlfriend, like I said. Actually, I'm his fiance. We have a baby girl together. Interesting. Young lady. Do you have any proof to support your claim knowing this man? Sure. So sure, why not? Please, officers, what has he done again? Was he involved in stolen goods or did he take someone's money and refuse to pay back? I can pay. He's a very good man. It's just that sometimes he cannot avoid the tendencies of being involved in stupid and wrong things. Please, sirs. What's going on here? Why did you to tie me up like this? What do you want? What do you want? Will you just shut up? You're just too loud mouthed. And today your loud mouth has put you to trouble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I don't want the money again. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it. Please don't tell me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Barrister. 
Yeah, gentlemen, I hear you have new information for us. Me and my clients. So, yes, barrister. Um, we have found someone who knew your husband. Her name is Mimi Umor. And she identified the uh, Charles Obi we all knew to be Kelly Ojuku. Kelly Ojuku. Charles' name was Kelly Ojuku? Yes, that is his real name. I don't understand. Why would he give me a fake name? Well, that is what we don't know yet. But what we do know is Kelly Ojuku, a small time con man with no permanent address. And if I may ask, who really is this um, Mimi Omo? Kelly Ojuku's girlfriend. Charles had a girlfriend. Not just an ordinary girlfriend. What? She had a baby girl for him. And um, they were engaged for marriage. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. Okay. So. How does this um, new information impact on my client? Well, Barrister, we just um, called her up to ask a few questions. Miss Kim, have you ever met Mimi Umar? No. I have already told both of you that the only person I knew connected to Charles was his supposed best friend, Ruben. Uh, madam, I... I think you should think through your answers very carefully. It will be to your best interest to lie to us. What are you talking about? Why would I be lying to you? What is going on here? I have told both of you what I know. Why are you drilling someone who just lost her husband and found out that he's an imposter? I am caught in all of this. Can't you see? Mm. I'm just hold on. Please just... If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. Right. <clears throat> like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. Mimi Umor. Aside from myself and my partner, can you identify anybody else here? Yes. This woman. Kelly told me she owed him money and he wanted to collect it from her the day I met them together. Me? Who is this woman and what is she talking about? Oh, stop acting like you don't remember me. Stop it! You remember me! If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. And like the king on a chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Uh, hi. Hi, right? Hi. What, what, what's the problem? What's, what? what's the who problem? Is who is who? Who are you saying? It's not someone I owe money, okay? Owe money. I owe, I owe. Uh, you owe money. So you're cheating on me. I'm not you're cheating. Not, oh, sorry, you said, what? That's what you're doing. What do you mean I'm cheating on you? Me? Because you saw me with someone I'm cheating you. on you. I saw you. What do you see? Get out. What do you, hey. Excuse me, what was that all about? Oh, uh, nobody, nothing. Let's go back. Okay. 
what do you mean nobody when you just left the car to go and speak to some some unknown girl there what's going on who is she uh okay so she loaned me some money to start a business the business failed and now she says i have to pay her back her money and that's why she's mad at me hmm. all right take me home charles we'll talk about this when we get home Charles owed money, and you came there that day very angry. Liar! You were the one who owed him money. And when he asked you to pay back, you killed him, right? You killed my man, right? You are insane! Shut up! He also told me how you tried to seduce him in order for him to forget about the money. You murdered my man. You killed him! You killed him! I know you did! You killed him! You are sick! In fact, you are what is this? What is going on here? Can't you see I'm stuck in the middle of all of this? I do not kill my husband. <laughs> Miss Mimi, thank you very much. Um, Miss Kim, I put it to you, you poisoned your husband. You found out one way or the other he has a uh, baby mama outside your home. You were the only one who has access to him. So you systematically poison him. Stop! Stop! I said stop! Stop harassing my clients. Okay? We have a date in court. We shall meet in court. Nonsense. Stand up. Let's get out of here. Stand up. What's this? Excuse me. Where did he go at the police station? The stupid woman is being charged to court for the murder of my Kelly. At least my Kelly will rest in peace. That's good. So, are we now going back to our base? Hell no! I am going nowhere until that woman gets a date in court! Really? Yes, really! Mimi! You want to live and forgo everything in your life to pursue justice for a man who never at any point faithful to you. You know what? I don't want to talk about this. Can we not talk about it? Why not? Let me ask you this. Have you asked yourself how the police will feel if they find out that your Kelly is a con man? The worst sketch chaser God ever created. I don't care, Empress. I don't care. I have a daughter for this man and I intend getting justice for him. I'm going nowhere. Really? So you want to leave everything about your life to pursue justice for a man that never in his life treated you well? He treats you like trash. <laughs> like you said, my life. So you know what? You can go back to whatever it is you left at home and leave me the hell alone. Okay, no problem. Are you aware what daddy will do to you if he finds out that you are here fighting justice for the same man he warned you about? Thanks for your concern. Like I said, you can go back and leave me the hell alone. I'm not going anywhere until I get justice for my daughter's father. You hear me? If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. 
Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. And like the king on a chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Oh no, no, yeah. Too many lies I found a way into my heart. Every single day I slowly lose my mind. I don't know how long I can take it no longer. No, 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 no. A billion people all around. But I'm still by myself So mysterious I don't know what to do Come to my rescue I'm going What do you want to do? Take care of me What do you do? You do not You do nothing I do nothing Yes, I do nothing You 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 do nothing Something wrong, I need to place a finger on me. Yeah. I've been whining with the devil, but I never knew. I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth. I wanna know. I'm like the king on a chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. My foes. My foes. You have 10 minutes. Make it count. Okay, I'm glad surrounded. to see you. What do you want? You're in a precarious situation, Kim. Isn't it time you drop the attitude and accord me the respect due to your mother? I'm surprised at you, you know. I'm surprised that you think you have the guts to have any rights over me. I blame myself. I blame myself for still addressing you as mom. I would rather have a hungry anaconda as a mother than you. Is this because of Timothy? Yes, everything is because of Timothy. What did you think? that I'll forget the image of both of you cuddling in my staircase? No, 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 It was a mistake. Huh? Which part of the cuddling and kissing was a mistake, Mom? Okay. Fine. Yes. I slept with him. Several times, as a matter of fact. And I enjoyed every minute of it. You've always been a pain in my neck. Good. I know all of this already. Especially the tension you created between myself and my dad when he was alive. You know what? I came here to see how I could help you out of your predicament. But it's obvious you don't want my help. I don't need your help. 
I did not kill my husband. And very soon the police will find out who poisoned him. Hmm. Really? Let's see how that works out for you by the time I come to court and tell the world what a bad child you are. Nobody will believe you. No one. You think? You really think you can pit your skills against mine in court? By the time I'm done with you, the judge will have no recourse but to throw you behind bars for the rest of your life. At what point did you start hating me? At the point where you took away my joy. So, Mama, how did it go? I gave birth to a demon. She doesn't want my help and I'm not ready to offer it. No, 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 please, 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 take it easy. You remember you have to testify in court and we have to paint a picture no, of her of somebody who is not capable of committing I came here to offer my help. She doesn't want it. What do I do? Excuse me. Just calm down. <sighs> officer, officer, please. One minute, please. Can I, can I have an audience with my clients, please? I won't take much of your time, please. Thank you. You only have three minutes. Three minutes. That's fine. That's fine, baby. I want to see this. What do you want to say? I want to ask you a question. How long do you want to remain in detention for this murder charge? I didn't kill anybody. I know. I believe you. And I'm ready to walk my ass out to get you off this hook. But you really have to assure me that that is also what you want for yourself. Tupe, can you get straight to the point because I'm confused about what you're talking about. Stop this merry-go-round talk. Okay. See, let me ask you. I hope you know that you are being charged for murder. I mean, murder case. It's not a child's play. Neither is it a TV reality show. I'm sure you know that. You know, you're here to tell me what this tantrum is all about. Listen, Kim. We need help. I mean, all the help we can get now that we are going through this trial. Or else things will go bad for us. Especially now that we are going through the process of bail. Please. Or do you want to spend more days in detention? So what do you want? I want you to stop this your attitude of creating and keeping enemies. You don't need it. We don't need it. I see. You're talking about my mother. Yes. She came talking to you, right? No. I went talking to her. I asked her to come and speak with you. She should speak with you so that we can all be on a common ground. Common grounds? God forbid. I'd rather dance with a python than dance with her. Listen, kid, you don't, you don't understand. You don't get it. Listen, do you want to spend the rest of your life in jail? Do you want to rot in jail? See, kid, I want to play your mother in court. Explain to the court that you are a very good and obedient daughter. A daughter that is not capable of committing okay. such a crime. My mother is a snake. She slept with my boyfriend in my home, on my bed. Aside that, she's been sleeping with my boyfriend all this while. I just found out. I do not want to have anything to do with my mother. I'd rather go to jail than make peace with her. Officer, I would like to go back to my cell. And one more thing to pay. I did not kill my husband. I loved him. 
I just found out that I have lived with a man who's been lying to me all this while we were together. And now I have to live with the fact that he died on my bed. I wonder why they murdered him. Tope, your concern should be who killed him and why they poisoned him. Mama, Mama, you worry too much. Okay. Don't worry, I'll see you over the weekend, alright? Oh, <laughs> Sergeant Festus. You are here. Uh, Mama, let me call you back, okay? Thank you, Ma. Yes, um, Barrister. Yeah, um, I, I had wanted to have a word with you. Okay, so sure, go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> um, you are an investigative officer, right? Yes. I want to ask you, one question. Do you really think that my client murdered her husband? Well, uh, Barrister, from all the evidence we have, all points are straight. Yes, because you and your partner has refused to look elsewhere. You have all just honed in on my client and has refused to look elsewhere. Uh, uh, hold on, Barrister. What are you trying to tell me now? What I am trying to say is simple. You see, <coughs> my client has no reason to kill her husband, whom she loved and adored very well. And now that we have come to find out that this young man lived a false life, an unprecedented life of falsehood. And his lie to his baby mama also. Come, as an investigative officer, if we now juxtapose these evidences with what is happening, Don't you think there's more that meets the eye in all this? If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the I guess you have no choice than to go to Kim's house and search for those documents. That would be a bad idea. By now the police will be watching her house. We'll just be walking into a trap. This is all becoming a big mess. Why do Charles have to come spoil things for us? Why? There's something we're not even thinking about. Something that could be bad news for us. What could that be? Who actually killed Charles? Or Kelly or whatever his name is. And what should that bother me? It should bother you. Because it could mean that he shared our plans with someone else who now wants what belongs to us. Are you saying that Charles could have been planning to double-cross us? Exactly. The police said he was poisoned over a period of time and that the poison slowly entered his heart until he entered cardiac arrest. <laughs> that means the person is someone he must have had close contact with. So aside from us and Kim, who else do you think would have had such contact to at least know our plans. The woman who has a child for Charles. She suddenly showed up after Charles died to lay claims against my daughter. If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining they with the devil, so but I never knew. But how? Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. And like the king on a chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. <coughs> don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Oh no, no. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 
Would you like something to eat? Mm. Yeah, sure. And also get something for that loud mouth in the kitchen. We don't want her dying of hunger. Of course. <laughs> oh. She have loosened such a tight rope and and she was so well tied and how did she leave here when the door was locked? Shut up. Shut up! She couldn't have untied herself without an assistant. Not in the way I tied her up. Someone else must have assisted her. It's the police. Are you sure you don't want to go out with me for just a few hours? No, I'm fine. Mimi, I want to apologize about my outburst earlier on concerning Kelly's issues. I'm very sorry. I was inconsiderate about your feelings. Please, please. You know, if I must be honest with myself, so you weren't totally wrong. Yes. I should have cut Kelly off a long time ago. He must have really taken me for a fool. No! You are no fool. You are just a girl in love, but you just loved the wrong man. You're right. I was in love with the wrong man. And I got burnt. Deeply burnt. It's quite unfortunate that I'll have to live with the memories through my daughter. Miriam. Why is love so wicked? Oh no, 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 darling. No. Don't say that again, okay? Do you know what? Love is a beautiful thing. He's just human that that that, that made love look so upside down. You know what? That is the reason why you need to get up and forge ahead. Like, you need to get away from, from Kelly or whatever that concerns him. You need to stay away from that. I can't. I can't, Miriam. I can't. My darling, you need to do that. You need to move on with your life. You know what? You have to go out with me. Okay? It's just a casual hangout with your lovely sister. Okay, just get up. Just get up. Let's just go and have fun. You will forget your sorrows. Trust me. Get up. Get up, okay? No, no, no we are going out. It's just a casual hangout. Okay? 
get off, Jerry. I, I think we just have to be patient and look into this very well. But we just have to try. Sir. Yes. Mrs. Joyce Okoro is here to say the both of you, sir. Good. Um, bring her in and uh, help us get Mrs. K. Yes, sir. We have to get those five pistols and five special things. Yes, yes, so we can collect things. Madam, welcome, please sit. Thank you. Welcome. Oh. Um, what's going on? I was here earlier. No one told me I'll need to come back today. There's no problem, madam. We just want to ask you a few questions. Okay. But be patient with us, madam. Just... Who says, what is she doing here? Mrs. Kim, there's no problem. We just want to have a few discussions between you and your mother. I do not have a mother, okay? I lost my mother three years ago. Well, can I please go back to myself? No, you can't leave here until we are done. What is all this? Why did you bring me here to be insulted by this twat? Calm down, madam. I will not calm down. She has said it already, that she does not have a mother. Why are you trying to force me down her throat? I will not sit down to any question until my lawyer is present. Isn't that within my right? Yes, it is. But this is just a fair discussion with your mother. Cobra! Cobra Nagya! Sir! Please come here. Can I leave now? Madam, why is there so much hatred between you and your daughter? What's going on? I do not have a daughter. I don't get it. What would have happened between a mother and daughter that they both hate themselves so much? Bro, see what just happened here right now. Hmm? Just put my head towards something. Tell me. This. We need to keep an extra eye on this woman, the king's mother. Why is that? See, Kim married Charles. Yeah? She could kill him. She could poison him, yeah? Oh, what we do not have locked down here is motive. But what motive can we possibly tie the mother to? You see, she hated him so much. Enough not to attend their wedding. Enough to kill him. But the motive behind that is what we do not have. Mm. I think you have a point. You're right. You're right. Anyway, um, I think I have to retire for today. I'm really fucked out. Yeah, bro. You go home and have some good massage from your mom. <laughs> oh, please. You need to go home too, man. You need some good loving. So what I exactly? Just, I, I don't know why exactly they just sent for me here. Called to start asking questions about why do me and Kim, why do we have issues with each other? Are they being suspicious or something? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just relieved because, to say the truth, I thought Neye had run to the police. Just so tiresome. Hello, Ma. Hello, oh. officer. Uh, is everything okay? Um, uh, everything is all right, sir. Thank you. 
Hello, sir. Hello, officer. Yeah, good day. Do I know you, sir? I don't think so, officer. My name is Timothy, sir. And this is my aunt. <laughs> yes, he's my nephew. I asked him to accompany me when you asked me to come here. Okay. It's mm. all right, madam. Yes. Uh, have a nice day, ma'am. You too, sir. We don't have to appear suspicious to them. They'll go first. Oh. <sighs> that was close. But what was that all about? About his knowing you from somewhere? I really have no idea. I've never seen him before. Look, things are just starting to go haywire. We need to find Naya. And we need to find her fast. I know. But where do we start from? Where? It. I know this guy, Sergeant Kingsley. This is the same guy I spotted at Kim's house. Are you sure? Yes, we are all standing and smoking doubles when I saw him. So what do you think? I'm not sure, bro. But I think the man suffered a heart attack. Yeah, because the woman, she looks, um, what word do I use now? She looks so distraught for anybody to think she mothered her husband. You know, you're right. But it's strange and hard to believe when she said, they met about five months ago, got married, yet she doesn't even know any member of his family, not even a friend. Hey, come on, who does that? Trust me, bro, I'm not surprised about that. You know, young people today do all they can to kick away the ways of tradition. See where that has landed her. See the spot she is in. 
Anyway, I think we should um, go in and see what the medics are up to. We need to start compiling our reports. Sure. Yeah, let's just go. Um, with. Right, I need you in here. Yeah, yeah, I'll join you. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. And like the king on a chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Oh no. For sure, I can go with him. He's the one. Huh. You know, I've been thinking. I'm still by myself So mysterious I don't know what to do Come to my rescue Oh Lord I beg you please Lord I beg you please I'm surrounded Please make a way for me Why do I have this feeling That everything is about to fall apart for me? I shouldn't have messed up with Kim. Things would have been different between us and for me right now. Gosh. I mean, I would have been the main man. Yes. Me. She was damn good! I can't continue to do this to myself. I have to get out of this place.
punishment you've received. You still won't shut up. Sorry. I'm sorry. I won't say anything again. Please, just let me go. I Aww. swear. Aww. I won't say anything to anyone. I swear. I swear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. <laughs> you shouldn't have meddled in things above your pay grade. Where's my brother? What have you people done to him? Your brother. <laughs> Your brother is there. No, 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 Kelly, no. He was poisoned. No. Actually, he's very lucky uh. that the poison just took him away in his sleep. Because if I had laid hands on him, I would have broken his neck. The plan was simple. Very simple. Get my daughter. Get her to transfer the money to your account. But no! Lover boy Kelly! He had to go and fall in love. He fell in love! And not just that. He married her. He married her! He's very lucky. He's very lucky I don't have the power to wake him up from death. Because I'll get him, roast him, give him his flesh to eat. I'm sorry. 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 Please just don't. Just don't tell me. Let me go. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. You must be a fool. Kelly. If you think that I'm going to let you go after this. <laughs> Talk too much. No, no, no. Please. Hello? What's the delay? Where are you now? Hurry up, we don't have all day. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I think we have a very strong lead to crack this case open, man. Yeah! I tell you, bro. I'm still there. Yeah. Whoa. Sorry, please. Please, 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 please. Ah! Please, don't hurt us. Please, I beg you, don't kill us, please. Come, come. Please, 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 hey, please, oh, oh God, please, oh God, please. Tie them up. No, no, no. Don't tie this one up. We're going out with her now. Just tie this one. No, no, no. Leave my sister alone, Stop. please. Hold on. Yeah, first of all. 
You need to call for backup now. Yeah, hurry up. I, I have everything. I have everything, man. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is going on here? Who are you, madam? Are you people kidnappers? Shut up! <laughs> shut up first, shut up forever. <laughs> Look, it's in your best interest for you to yeah. shut up like you said. Because I'm in the mood for all of you today. Don't test me. Look, carry her. Let's get out of this place. No, 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 no. Please, 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 Please don't hurt me! Please, I beg you! Please! Don't hurt me! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! It's enough. She's no longer here to see you. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> you know I'm a wonderful performer. Like, I could win an Oscar. <laughs> Stay focused. We're not yet on cloud nine. If I did something wrong, I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining with the devil, but I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I wanna know. Hi handsome, how you doing? Looks like you need some company this night. Can I make you happy? Hmm. I can make you happy. Get lost. Leave here now. Really? Fine then, fine. Place a finger on me. Yeah. I've been whining with the devil, but I never knew. I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth. I wanna know. I'm like the king on the chest. They're inside already. So call for backup. Yeah, hello. Um, we are at uh, Madame Joyce's house now. Please send in back up. Yeah, and please come along with Miss Kim. Kim. Hurry up. Yeah. What's going on here? Joyce, what's going on here? What is this? Hmm. I've had enough of your nonsense, dear. <laughs> Tonight it all comes to an end. You see, I don't need you around anymore. You see, I now have Empress as a business partner. 
So you're not needed. Who is she? Who are you? What's going on here? Look, Timothy, <laughs> I really don't have time to play games tonight. But since I'm going to kill you anyway, I might as well. <laughs> Meet Empress. The older sister to Mimi, Charles <sighs> baby mama, and also his lover. That's me. Kelly, the man you guys call Charles, dated myself and my sister. He kept me hidden from everyone. I loved him so much, so he played with me while he was with my sister too. I found out when he started hobnobbing with Joyce's daughter. I got very angry. But I met with Joyce who told me that you and her hired him to play Kim to get the inheritance. She also promised to cut me in and she paid me a huge amount of money to stay away from Kelly while he plays his game. <laughs> but that was a mistake because I kept on seeing him in secret till I found out that he has fallen in love with Kim. Stop, 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 stop. Baby, why are you so cold? Stop it. I'm in love. Oh my word! I love you too. Do you know how long I've been waiting to hear this from you, baby? I love you too! I love you! God, jeez, I'm not in love with you. Why are you shouting? Just relax. I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with another woman. And we can't do this again. <sighs> another woman. We can't do this again. What are you talking about, baby? Her name is Kimberly, okay? And I know I love her because she makes me feel special. She makes me feel these emotions I never thought I would experience. And she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Kelly, what about my sister? What about her? Your, your child? I'll talk to Mimi, okay? I, she's a special woman and she doesn't deserve any of the stuff her men are go through. I'll talk to her and beg for her forgiveness. But it's better this way instead of me just going online to her forever. Empress, um, this is goodbye. It was fun while it lasted, but we have to move on now. If I did something I wrong, best I need to place a finger on it. I've been dining oh. with the devil, but I never knew. Like the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for the truth I want to know. And like the king on a chest, but don't want to be surrounded by my foes. Don't want to be surrounded by my foes. I went to Joycey and told her everything. Of course she didn't believe me until I showed her proof. That was when she came up with a special plan. She asked me to kill Kelly in order to get him out of the way for someone else's to get into Kim's life and make her transfer her inheritance over to her. I 
and that was what I did. I played my way into Kelly's life and started poisoning him gradually. The rest you know is history. Wow. You planned all this. Joyce, you don't seem like someone... Someone with that level of intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> mm. My dear, you have to stoop to conquer. I'm the mistress in the game of deceit. That's how I wriggled my way into the life of my late husband. His wife had died, he was feeling vulnerable, and I came along to offer comfort. <laughs> Then with his three-year-old daughter, I came acting all mummy mummy for her. But I couldn't have a child of my own. So he left everything to her. That's why I despise her. And that's why I'll destroy her. What are you saying? You are not Kim's biological mother. The mother to that witch. The only reason she's still alive is because I'm waiting to get what is mine. And I will get it. Wow. You're good. You're very, very good. I should have known when you seduced and started sleeping with me. Thought I was having the best of both worlds. <laughs> Aww. Mm. When you were so easy to manipulate. <laughs> All I had to do was act like I was soft and easy to push around. And he wasn't feeling macho. <laughs> but you were just a pawn in my chess game. Yes. And I've won. Like I always win. Mm-hmm. One. Do you have King's money yet? Do you? Sweetheart. Darling, please do the honors and educate him. Okay. So I've been snooping around and I found out that there's some documents in Kim's bedroom that all I need is to put in signature and the money can be transferred to her. Kim would rather die than sign any documents for both of you. Who needs Kim when I'm here? I have already mastered the signature. By this time tomorrow, I will log in the document I and Joyce will be very rich. <laughs> <laughs> to what gain, Empress? Put your hands up, everybody. <laughs> Go down on your knees now. Thank God you're here. I was so confused. I didn't know what to do. He came in here to rob us, and I, 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 I just smashed the gun, and yes. I was so confused. Yes, thank you. That is what happened. So despicable, madam. Hmm? Thank God for good fortune. Everything has been exposed. I don't understand what you're saying. We have recordings of all your activities. Your time is up, madam. madam. All of you, your time is up. Madam Joyce, Mr. Timothy, and Miss Empress, you're all under arrest for the mother of Mr. Kelly. An attempted mother, an adoption of Miss Naya. Sir. Get up. Please. Hurry up. I can't go to jail, sir. I'm sure we can work things out. Look what I do, my good minutes. Hurry up. Sir, please, we can work things out. Look, this I don't have. Move them, move, move, move. No, this move. There's, some, just, there's a misunderstanding somewhere. Yes, we can clear it up. There's just a misunderstanding. Ah, please, uh, Let's go. And you. Hey, move. It was your fault. You took him away from me. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you.
sorry. Can I buy you a drink? We have a lot to talk about. No. Thank you. Wait. Yes. You can buy me a drink. And yes, I do need a friend. My mother, or should I say stepmother, just made me realize that she used my exclusive nature to set me up with Kelly, who I loved so much. If I did something wrong, so no more staying off friends. Would you be my friend, please? Yes, I'll be your friend. <laughs> the pieces of a puzzle, I'm searching for Thanks. the truth I wanna know. I like the king on the chest, but don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Don't wanna be surrounded by my foes. Oh, no, no, yeah. Too many lies I found away into my heart. Every single day, I slowly lose my mind. I don't know how long I can't take it no longer. No, 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 no. A billion people all around, but I'm still by myself. 